आई एम डॉक्टर अशोक राजपूत पलमोनोलॉजिस्ट एट सी के बिरला हॉस्पिटल टुडे आई विल टॉक टू यू अबाउट अ डिजीज कॉल्ड सार्कोडोसिस सार्कोडोसिस इज अ डिजीज इन विच यूजली द थोरेसिक लिम्फ नोड्स गेट इन लार्ज इट इज अ मल्टी सिस्टम डिजीज इन विच द स्किन इन्वॉल्वमेंट कैन बी देयर देर कैन बी अरी दिवान नोडोसम आई इन्वॉल्वमेंट the cardiac involvement the liver and spleen involvement kidney involvement even brain involvement in this disease the granulomas form and the diagnosis is challenging and difficult because it needs biopsy usually more than 90% of the patients are asymptomatic means they don't have any symptoms they get diagnosed if they get their chest x-ray done for medical examination or otherwise the x-ray shows enlarged potato like bilateral hilar lymph nodes and then the investigation starts the disease has to be differentiated from tuberculosis and lymphomas or other lymphoproliferative disorders the symptoms if they occur are due to pressure symptoms in the mediastinum they cause cough and sometimes associated with fever and polyarthralgia means joint pains sometimes there are itchy skin lesions or old scars and then depending on the organ involved you have symptoms in the heart there may be heart failure in the lungs there may be breathlessness and cough so to diagnose to work up when you suspect sarcoidosis as i told you you have to differentiate from tuberculosis in sarcoidosis the mantu test is negative whereas in tuberculosis it is usually positive then quantiferon gold test differentiates which is positive in tuberculosis and negative in sarcoidosis the other non invasive test is called angiotensin converting enzyme the enzyme gets raised in sarcoidosis but the gold standard is biopsy in the biopsy you have to show the non caseating granuloma in tuberculosis they are caseating granulomas in sarcoidosis they are non caseating granulomas biopsy is a little difficult from the thorax it is usually done through bronchoscopy or endobronchial ultrasound the transbronchial needle aspiration from the lymph node will clinch a diagnosis it will rule out tuberculosis and suggest sarcoidosis based on non caseating granuloma and absence of afps even sometimes the picture in the bronchus is classical means a nodular mucosa even endobronchial biopsy may show you granuloma Sometimes CT scan is done to show the lymph node and the lung involvement they have stages the first stage is only mediastinal node second stage is pulmonary parenchymal involvement with mediastinal node and third stage is only pulmonary parenchymal involvement untreated long standing sarcoidosis can cause pulmonary fibrosis if diagnosed earlier if symptomatic steroids are the mainstay of treatment usually responds beautifully to steroids and they are to be given for one year in those who do not respond to steroid or they have resistance or there is a relapse after steroids can be given other immunosuppressive drugs like methotrexate and usually it responds well remissions are very rare very rare less than 5% of the cases and they also usually respond well so the prognosis of this disease is good the remissions are more common even asymptomatic untreated patient they get improved in more than 90% of the cases so sarcoidosis can be easily differentiated from tuberculosis and lymphoma and can be well treated with steroids with a good prognosis thank you